Good morning. This is Michelle Grove speaking. I am the interim religious education consultant that is working with your congregation, and it is really good to be with you on this day. I have been reflecting on a TED Talk I saw years ago. It is one of those that touched me deeply when I first saw it, and now I pull it up every now and again to watch it again. Because as we know, learning is something that you don't do just with new ideas. It's something that we do with ideas as we listen to them and go deeper and deeper into our understanding and our realizations of what they have to teach us. This TED Talk was done by a young girl by the name of Adora Svitkak. Adora speaks to her audience about the way in which we frame and treat children. She challenges the audience, asking them why we treat children in the particular manner that we have chosen, and even takes us to task on the way we use the word childish. Adora is clear that childish is not a negative term and that we should not always use it as a negative term. What if we reframed the way we looked at the word childish and the way that we look at our children and our youth, at the capacity that they have to lead, to teach, and to contribute to the family and to our community? I encourage you to check out this TED Talk. And today I would like to take Adora's message and intersect it with this special day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you who are mothers. And even to broaden the circle a little bit, Happy Mothering Day to all of you who mother and nurture us in many ways. For the mothers who have birthed us and cared for us deserve special attention on this day. Actually, they deserve special attention every day. And then to broaden that, all of those who mother us, even if they have not given birth to us, are also ones to be honored and to be thanked for the gifts in which they share. So let's, let's intersect that with Adora's message. Have you ever considered the deep and beautiful ways in which our children and our youth mother us? Have you thought about the way they take care of us, the way they nurture us? It is true and it is a gift. So today I invite this congregation to consider the gifts, the nurture that children and youth give us and to reframe the way we treat children to give them room so that they can develop even a deeper capacity for mothering and caring for us and for the community. How is it that we can provide space so that children and youth can contribute and nurture this community? Happy Mothering Day, Happy Mother's Day, and I especially want to say to all the children and youth, Happy Mothering Day, and thank you for the way you care for us. Blessings.